What's going on, fans? The entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another game caught news update. Today, we're speaking about South Carolina and the wide receiver uh, rotation depth, whatever you want to say. Uh, Marcus Satterfield put out some things in the air. You know, right now it's talking season. It's about less than two weeks before the Gamecocks play Georgia State. So Marcus Statterfield kind of put out what his thoughts were as far as the wide receiver rotation. So let's look at the video real quick, and we'll see exactly what's going on. So South Carolina football coach Shane Beamer said on Tuesday doing what he termed as mock game week of practice that one of the most intriguing position battles is at wide receiver. The second-year head coach certainly has a greater amount of riches this season than he did last year. It's the job of offense coordinator Marcus Statterfield and position coach Justin Stepp to get the right guys on the field at the right time, right? Statterfield speaks to the media Wednesday, didn't identify the depth chart as there are still a handful of practices before the first game. But there will certainly be a quite a bit of rotation in the season opening against Georgia State. Of course, there is likely to be a fair amount of rotation regardless of opponent. You may be a starter playing 25 plays and may not start and play 30 plays. We have certain plays with certain guys and certain ro routes that guys can do, Statterfield said, when asked about receiving rotation. We have personnel groupings to get them on the field. We know what plays we're going to call and it's tagged with a personnel group on the side and go to call a play. The coaches know who to get out there so that right people are running the right routes we're able to be very multiple uh from the standpoint and get the guys in the right positions you know there are nine different receivers that seem to be discussed pretty consistently when speaking about the players in the position rotation potential rotation excuse me it's unlikely that will be five wide receivers on the field at any given time because there are so some talented tight ends and running backs on the roster that are going to receive opportunities right so here's the name that everybody's talking about there's uh jalen brooks uh um, uh um, brown the carry on joining xavier leggett uh peyton um the, uh thank it i don't know his last name <laughs> Corey rucker alandon sampson josh van and antoine juice wells right so so we're gonna so we're not gonna read this whole thing baby we're just gonna talk right there right uh so so you know y'all see the schedule right there so let's keep going baby Let's keep going, baby. I'm not going to hold you up too long because I know you like lucky. You know, what What does it mean? A lot of you guys are like, oh, my God. Well, put it this way, man. You won't get the right rotations of players until uh, we get three to four weeks into the season. I think after the Georgia series game, we will know who's going to be the, 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 the wide receiver to go to, and we'll know the contributors of that. Um, that Georgia State game, really, everybody's going to get to eat. You know, everybody's going to get to eat. Everybody's going to look good because Georgia State, let's face it, we should not lose to Georgia State. If we do, will it be loom and doom? Probably not. But it would be a bad look for Shane Beamer and also the South Carolina program. Um, but I do think that a lot of guys will will, will will get time. I said Landon Simpson. I think Antoine Juice Wells. And I think that Spencer Riley got a connection going on. I think Austin Stockner and Jaheim Bell are probably going to take a lot of those reps too as well. Um, and also you got the running backs. Christian Bill Smith. You got um, – uh, Juju McDowell, you also got Marshawn Lloyd. So it's a lot of mouths to feed other than last year. And you got Josh Van. Uh, I don't forget about Josh Van. So there's going to be a lot of people getting opportunity. And the main thing is this whether you pay 50 plays, 30 plays, 10 plays, or two plays, you have to make what you contribute count, right? And if everybody has that goal and not sit here saying, I only play, you know, one game, one play. No, no, make that play count because that may be the play that helps us win the game. But I'm just a man behind the camera. You let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. And please don't forget all three. Lucky Mary Beppin' the Gamecock News Update. Today, I'm speaking about um, the wide receiver death. You let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Black always. Till next time, people.